Hey, what's going on, Xbox gamers and gamers alike? You're now rocking with your boy, KOI Straight Murder, and listening to Straight Murder Pod Shots. You know, I want to reflect on last week's um, special with Phil Spencer. Shout out to Phil Spencer. Thank you for giving Tick Podcast the opportunity to interview you. And um, you, you put us on the map. And I'm glad that we had that opportunity to be seen by other gamers to show that the content that we have is worth listening to. Um, with that being said, I want to reflect on some of the things that happened on the show. Um, I think next year is going to be crazy. It's, it's going to be bananas. I mean, it's going to be banana sandwich. Banana sandwich with whipped cream and vanilla ice cream on it. You know, if you like bananas. <laughs> but, you know, look at the games that he said that they may have in the works. I'm going to do a process of elimination and I'm going to tell you what I think is coming. And I'm going to tell you why I think it's coming. I think that the games that's coming next year on a process of elimination for what he said and, and what I talked about, some of the games he said, there's a couple of those in, in development, some some of those in development. I believe it's Halo Wars 2, Conquer, and Alan Wake 2. The reasons why I believe that. Halo Wars 2 is an Easter egg in the Phantom Dust trailer. It's on a billboard in the Phantom Dust trailer. And he talked about cross-play between PC and Xbox One. So that will probably be a, a cross-play game. Yes, it will be, I'm pretty sure it will be a Windows 10 game because Windows 10, which should be out uh, by next year. And um, Halo Wars will probably be out later in the year or 2016, the way it's looking. And by that time, yeah, the ecosystem of having the Xbox One, Windows 10, Windows Phone, and uh, Surface tablets all integrated and being able to play those games across those devices will already be implemented. If, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, look up a thing called Threshold. You can Google it. Um, it pretty much gives you a rundown of exactly what Microsoft's thinking is, and uh, it's going to be pretty sick. It's going to be pretty dope. Conquer has to be in there because there's Conquer assets in uh, Project Spark, and they're allowing you to use the character in the game any way you want to. Now, as much as we've been wanting a new Conquer for so long, why put Conquer in Project Spark? Right? Like, just think about that for one second. Why put Conquer in Project Spark? Unless you want people to get familiar with him again. Unless you want some people to use the character and, and see what they do with the character and the games that they create, that makes complete sense. So I expect to see a new Conquer next year, and that's going to please a lot of people. Now, I don't expect it to be from Rare. Now, that's something that people may be surprised at. I don't think the iconic game that Phil asks Rare to do is Conquer. I think it's a new IP. I think it's a new character, a new story, and I think it has a really big budget. And it's going to be a AAA title coming out of Rare, non-Connect related. And he did answer that question. They probably will be at E3 next year based on the fact that he's going to probably talk about it in November because he's going up there in November to check it out. And I do remember him saying that, that they would probably reveal something or give us some tidbits on the game in November. So uh, look out for that um, next month. And finally, I think it's Alan Wake 2. And I think it's Alan Wake 2 because he tweeted something a while ago uh, to a fan about Alan Wake 2 and said that he would leave that in Remedy's hands. And it makes complete sense. If Remedy drops Quantum Break next year in 2015 and they drop Alan Wake in 2016 and drop Quantum Break 2 in 2017, listen, I'm not sitting here trying to say that Remedy is completely devoting themselves to Xbox. But, I mean, they, they kind of are like a second-party studio for Microsoft. So, I, I can see them doing that. I can see them doing that. And we all want to continue the story from Alan Wake. We thought it would come on 360, and it didn't. We should see it on Xbox One. And I'm hoping, at least from any indication of what Quantum Break looks like is going to be, Alan Wake 2 will be just as awesome. So those are, those are my ideas on what games will be released um, or will be possibly talked about or seen at next year's E3 with a new game from Rare, um, along with any other surprises that they may have at Xbox's E3 in 2015. So we have a lot to be excited about. Um, 
I don't want to focus too much on the show, obviously, because uh, we have a podcast coming up next week, Friday. Um, and it will be a new podcast. And we'll focus on a few things and, and talk about a few subjects and topics to get the fans interested and get the fans talking as we usually do. And for our new subscribers, you will start to understand why uh, Phil chose our show and why we feel we are the voice of the fans. Um, you know, and we, we go with our model for the fans, by the fans, because without you guys, there would be no Tick Podcast. And we want to be the voice for you to talk to the developers and the guys like that so they can hear us. So I, I just want to address a few things um, that happened on Reddit prior to the release of the show. Some people got it in their minds that we were affiliated with Mr. X Media. I want to make this as clear as possible. We are not affiliated with Mr. X Media. Um, and also, we are partners with Xbox Mad. Tick Podcast is its own entity, um, but we are partners with Xbox Mad, and we do share news information amongst each other because it's more like a brother relationship where we try to take care of each other in that regard. So shout out to Xbox Mad, and thank you guys for everything that you've done, including giving us a, a page on Xbox Mad um, where you can watch some of our videos in a small forum as well for people who want to talk about the things that we talk about on the show. So you don't have to be so trolled <laughs> in the comment section maybe by guys who don't like Xbox and things like that. Um, you know, so... I'm going to talk about our new format so that some of our subscribers um, and some of the new subscribers will get a feel for what we're trying to do and how we're going to bring content to you to keep you entertained, to keep you involved and grow the Xbox and Tick podcast community. Um, first and foremost, we usually do shows Thursdays and Fridays, so you can expect a new show Friday or Saturday. Um, Depending on how late it is, if I get an opportunity to edit the show, you will more than likely see a show that week. And we do a show every other week. So there won't be no show this week, but we do have an interview with Jez from Xbox Mad. And he talks about EGX. And surprising, something that he mentioned about a increase in sales from the Xbox One because of the price cut over there. Where they actually beat the PlayStation 4 in sales for a week. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Obviously, everyone's heard the big news about Michael uh, Pactor predicting that um, the Xbox One has beaten PlayStation 4 for the month of September. Look, I'm an optimist. We'll see what happens. You know, I, I got to see it to believe it. But, you know, with the Destiny bundle that PlayStation had and promoting it as an exclusive... When the numbers come out, hopefully it's true. If it's not, hey, either way, Xbox to me has the best lineup this fall, and I'm enjoying it so far, and I can't wait to get my hands on Sunset, Ori, and Master Chief Collection. Um, so with that said, Friday, Saturday is usually a Tick Podcast um, show, which runs about anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes, and that will be on a Friday or Saturday. We will start to release reviews for games Every Saturday, um, that would be something that we will constantly do from now on. Um, along with that, the, the week that we do take podcasts, we have a thing where we do Gamer Night, which is on Mondays and is Twitch streamed live. We want you guys to join us on games. Forza, Sunset Overdrive, come play with us, come Twitch it with us and, you know, and let's bring the community together. Let's, let's bring us together. For those of you who may not have a lot of friends, for those of you who um, have some buddies but aren't on that night, come hang out with us on Gamer Night. Um, those will be on Mondays and run by Doc, our resident surgeon, if you will. <laughs> he will be running our Twitch streams and basically being our community um, manager as we play those games that you love as a group. We try to release reviews on Tuesday as well. Um, you'll catch a pod shot from me on Wednesdays and the following Thursday, we don't have a tick podcast. You know, I give my guys a break. You know, we don't get paid for it. We love it. It's a hobby. People have family jobs, kids, but the reality of it is, is that we do have to take a break on Thursdays because it's a, it's a show that we do and it takes time from us. So 
what I would like to do that Thursday to keep the content interesting and keep the community involved is have the fans decide for us what do we do on a Thursday that we don't do a show now I have two ideas the first idea is throwback Thursday where you guys select a game I'll find a game edit the game post it and talk about it and we can all go on a nostalgic trip about how awesome those games were back in the day on Xbox Xbox 360 PS2 PS3 Super Nintendo Sega Genesis whatever you guys want man I'll try my best to find it record it put it out there for you guys to watch and talk about in the comment section because that is for the fans um, or on the other hand some of you guys know about my clan and some of you guys know how I feel about my clan if you guys have a competitive spirit and you feel like you could take my clan on then bring it baby core versus the world that's another thing that I had planned as well you know for anybody out there who thinks they're good in Call of Duty Destiny well I won't say Destiny because I don't think you have private messages in Destiny but you know Titanfall Halo when that comes out um, games along those lines challenge us challenge us and this is how it will work we'll set up a private match you 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 find your guys or if anybody wants to join anybody could be it could be a subscriber it could be a fan anybody could join you guys come on down we'll, we'll get you in a private match with my crew and we'll play and if your team wins the top two players will receive ten dollar game codes courtesy of tick podcast to add to your bank to purchase whatever games you want digitally and I think that's an awesome reward just for participating in a game and beating core clan um, and my guys are really good and really competitive um, so please you know when you take a vote man just just I'm gonna try to get unified to get a poll up you know check out Xbox man I'll put the link down in the description where you guys can click the link and it'll take you to the poll area um, or take you to the poll area for uh, in our Twitter page or something like that where you guys can vote. What would you rather have? Would you have the Throwback Thursday where we take a nostalgia trip? Or would you like Core versus the World where we talk about uh, you guys challenging the Core Clan and winning prizes if you beat us? Finally, this goes out to all featured uploaders on Upload Studio. I want you guys to be guests on our show. If you're interested in coming on Tick Podcast, please contact me over Xbox Live. Contact me over Twitter. I want you to be a featured guest on our show. You can be a fourth guest host as we talk about relevant topics on the Tick Podcast. And the following Monday, we will have you as a guest along with Doc in our Gamer Night. And all the fans and people who watch you guys will have an opportunity to play with their favorite uploader. You get to chat with them, hang out with them, talk to them, play games with them, Sunset, Call of Duty, you know, anything multiplayer wise, anything that has a co op aspect to it. We'll try to get you guys involved and try to bring the community together as a whole because there is no community like the Xbox One community, and that's the reason why Xbox Live is so awesome. And then look, I'm not trying to knock Nintendo, and I'm not trying to knock Sony, and this is not biased. This is just facts, man. Let's just keep it real. The Miis are cute. The Miis are cute, man. But nah, I'm not really sure about that infrastructure over there on Nintendo. And I got a whole bunch of homies on PlayStation, man, but I don't know if I ever get to play with them. There's always some maintenance, or it's always down. And that's not a good look. You know, the greatest thing about Xbox Live is that even when it's down, it's not down. For 24 hours, the friends list, I couldn't get in contact with any of my friends. But you know what I could do? I could play online. I couldn't see anybody, but I was able to sign in and play online. And that's what makes Xbox Live infrastructure so awesome. You're never really offline. Even when you get attacked by DDoS attacks, you're never ever offline. It might be a particular area or a particular um, time zone, East Coast, West Coast, 
but the whole entire infrastructure of Xbox Live is usually running and everybody is always enjoying themselves. I don't know how Microsoft does it. Maybe they got magicians. Maybe it's the cloud. Eh. But at the end of the day, all I know is that I'm still gaming and that's what matters most and that's why people should really start to look at some of the things that Xbox does besides resolution. Somebody said something the other day that made perfect sense. I'd rather have 900p over lackluster exclusives. And that's a fact. And I'd rather have a sound infrastructure than buying a game that's built on multiplayer and not being able to play it at all. And that's a fact. Well, I won't keep you guys much longer. Uh, appreciate you for listening. And please leave comments in the comment section. I will leave a link as soon as we can get that poll up for you guys to vote on Core vs. The World or Throwback Thursdays. And our first guest for uploaders in November will be Chef Big Willie. Um, you can expect him to be on the show. He'll be a fourth guest. We'll chat sometime in November. And he'll have a special surprise for you for Thanksgiving. Well, stay tuned. Keep watch. We have a show coming up Thursday with Xbox Mad and the Tick Podcast show coming up next week. We just released a Shadow of Mordor review today, and we'll have Destiny review on Saturday. So thank you for watching. Please stay tuned, and I'm off this planet. Peace. <laughs>